Hello everyone, it's the beginning of August and like with the beginning of every month, it's time to open the Art Snacks Plus box. The box came with the Fredericks Pro Series archival canvas board. It's an 8x10. It's archival. It says it's suitable for oils, acrylic, and orchids. And it's 100% linen, Belgian linen. I wonder if, we, if we're going to have some uh, oil paint or actually this is golden slow drying acrylics. It's um, open acrylic gel and it's a gloss. Hmm. Got a bunch of plastic palette knife by Art Alternatives. I wonder if I was sent an extra one by mistake because I've got two. I have to um, contact Art Snacks to see if they want the other one back. So I believe that these might be what comes in the Art Snacks Plus box. Let me double check. Yes, the panel, the acrylic gel, and I think just one of these. That's what came with the plus box. And then, so we have some Smarties. And here's what comes in the regular Art Snacks box. There's a golden open slow drying acrylic in sap green hue. And I like with the golden products, they usually actually put some real paint on it so you can actually see the color. It's a very, very dark green. It's a three quarter ounce tube, so pretty good size. So as you see, it's slow drying acrylic, so it will probably help you paint more like when you use oils. Um, because it won't dry as fast as regular acrylic. And here it says to extend or thin, use open mediums, open thinner or water. So here I've got a medium here, the acrylic gel. So I can use this with this. What else do we have? We have a crooked brush. Unfortunately, it didn't have any protection, so now it's all sideways. I don't know if I'll be able to fix this. It's a shame. It's a Finesse Premium 6 brush by King Art. It's a Felbert, in case uh, you couldn't see it. And then a Darwin Graphic HB Pencil. A Darwin Inktense Deep Violet Pencil. So these are water soluble and when they dry you cannot move the pigment around anymore. And a Kurtake. Let me see the name of this one. So this is a Hikei Fude Pen. I don't think I have one of those yet but it looks just like a fude pen fude brush so it's a um, plastic nib that's a little bit flexible and it's in black i believe yeah it's in black and a little sticker so let's see if the prompt will be helpful this month. Think abstract this month. Palette knives are fun to use for brushing around paint and creating unique lines, shapes, and forms. Okay, 
So it's just telling me to do something abstract. All right, so this is what we've got. And I'm going to try to figure out what to paint with this. I didn't post this video as early in the month as I usually do because I wanted to try something. Since my paintbrush looked destroyed from being in the box, um, I decided to use some hair styling gel and style the hair of my paintbrush and wait. So I waited for uh, five days before I rinsed it out. I cleaned the bristles with soap and water. I actually also did it in the sink under running water to make sure it was nice and clean because I put a lot of that hair styling gel in it. And it seems to have done the trick. I think it went back to its original shape, although it's still a weird shape. It's supposed to be a filbert, but it doesn't really matter. It looked good enough to use it. So once I rinsed it, I started doing the swatches. And the first thing I did is I used the acrylic and I diluted it with water and I did several swatches with less and less water to see how dark I could get it. I did the swatches on watercolor paper and somehow I, I do use acrylic from time to time but never on watercolor paper so it looks a bit weird to me because I'm so used to use watercolor on it. Um, I also tried to mix the paint with the gel that I got and I used one of the palette knives to try to make marks. I'm really not familiar with using palette knives to apply the paint. I, I usually use them to mix the colors. My Derwent Ink Tense Pencil is a deep violet and it's really really pretty. It's very bright and it worked well on the watercolor paper. The graphite pencil is a graphite pencil is a graphite pencil. And the brush pen, the footy pen, looks really good. It has a very short tip but it really can um, create very fine lines and very broad lines too. So I decided to save my canvas panel for two reasons. First, I didn't feel like using such a tiny brush on an 8x10 size. I think it would have taken me forever and I probably wouldn't have had very good results. Second, I was not sure about using the, that mix of supplies on the panel and I really just wanted to save it for something better. So I ended up using, again, the watercolor block by Rembrandt. It's 100% cotton and I get that one in the previous Art Snacks Plus box. And I started drawing some gladiolus. There's actually a story behind that. Um, my son loves to plant flowers around the house and every spring he just goes by flowers and bulbs and, and then he has fun with that. This year he found out about those flowers and asked if he could plant them. I said yeah, so I went to the store get some bulbs and came home with a bag of 50 bulbs and I didn't really know what to say. I, said, I ended up saying, okay, fine, just go ahead and plant them wherever. And so he planted, them, he planted them all around the house and the stems started growing and growing and I didn't realize how big they were going to be and they kind of looked like leeks for a while, but they were like from anywhere from from three to five feet tall. I'm like, what? <laughs> what What have we done? <laughs> um, and then uh, a couple weeks ago, they started blooming and they po all the colors popped out from light purple to dark purple and pinks and yellows and oranges and white. And they're really gorgeous flowers, but they're very top heavy. So they need to be, if they're not in bunches, they need to be um, held with a stick or some of some sort. But anyway, that purple, when I swatched it, reminded me of some of the purples that I saw in those flowers. And I decided to draw that. I started with a, a grisaille. So I drew the flower with the graphite pencil and I shaded it because I knew that when I put the purple on top of it, we would be able to see the shading through it. Although later on I tried to add as much purple on top of it to darken the shadows as much as possible, but I found it quite hard to add too many layers of ink tints. You can get a pretty nice gradient, but it doesn't go super, super dark. I tried different techniques from coloring on the paper and then using my wet brush to spread the pigments to using my Caran d'Ache palette. And I'll talk to you about this palette in another video, but it's basically a pretty rough palette and you can just draw on it with your pencil and then lift the pigment with water. It's really neat. So I did that so that I would just use it like 
watercolor. I did two techniques with that. I, I put the pigment straight on the paper and then later on I realized that it looked much better if I actually did some wet on wet. So I would wet the petals with clean water and then add the purple on top of it and it would spread and look much more natural that way. For the acrylic, I just tried to play with it. First on the left side, which was darker, I just used the palette knife to apply the paint and I didn't really like the results, so I used a wet brush to spread it around. Still didn't like it, and I kind of just fudged it. Basically, this whole painting, I, I went with the flow and tried to rearrange things as I went, really, and tried to figure out how to make it look better. So I didn't have a, a plan to start with, or I did, but several times it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. So I changed it along the way. I was glad that the paint actually didn't dry as fast as regular acrylic because I was able to re-wet it and lift some with a paper towel and try to add some texture. Um, in the end, it was okay. It, not my favorite background, but once I was done lining the flowers with the Kuretake Fude pen, I thought the background looked a little bit too plain or too light. There was something wrong in my opinion, so I added some little swirlies and I was just having fun. That's all. Again, I really like that, that brush pen. It's, it's really nice. It's very easy to use. I think it's because the tip is not very light long so I had more control over it. All in all, I, I think it was a fun box, but I was underwhelmed by the value of it because all the, all the items in it cost way, way less than what, than what I paid for the box. But I think this will happen from time to time with subscription boxes. I hope it's not like that every month and hopefully in September it will bring me supplies that I enjoy more. If you received the Art Snacks box or the Art Snacks Plus box, I hope you enjoyed it and you had fun using the supplies. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you liked this little video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're brand new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Have a wonderful day everyone. Bye bye.